Frank Scott Jr. speaks about his first three months in office, saying he's already kept one of his campaign promises of bringing change. Here at Forest, Kayla Reardon was at the address today. And Caitlin, there were some highlights of this. Tell us about it. Well, Bob and Ashley, Mayor Frank Scott Jr. reminded the audience about another of his campaign promises to be a stronger and more accountable mayor. He says that he did this by reorganizing the roles of mayor and city manager and says that we need to continue to work together to unite the city while bringing about that much needed change. I wanted to hear his vision. Phyllis Brown came to her alma mater to hear Little Rock's new mayor, Frank Scott Jr., speak about his accomplishments and aspirations in his first 90 days in office. His initiatives are bold. They will bring forth new life to this city. Among Mayor Scott's top priorities is public safety. Scott says since stepping into the role, he's already hired a new police chief, ramped up transparency efforts, and is working on other ways to make the city safer. We're also starting the process of employing an additional 100 police officers over the next four years with plans of including 20 police officers in the amended 2019 budget. Scott also says he's requesting proposals to purchase body cameras for the Little Rock Police Department, along with working with the city attorney to establish a citizen review board and to do away with no-knock warrants. Another big priority for Scott is education. He spoke about appointing a chief education officer to come up with creative approaches to changing the education system in Little Rock. He or she will determine how the city can work with our governor, legislature, neighboring school districts, charter schools, our community, and other stakeholders to create a single school district south of the Arkansas River. I think we need to get rid of the old guard and let's embrace this new energy, these new ideas. And I reached out to a spokesperson for the mayor to see how they plan to amend that budget and what the cost would be to cover those additional officers. At this point, there isn't a clear answer. Bob and Ashley.